breaking news sabotoas form new group name it biafra military council call for fundraising here are the news in details wonderful people of biafra lovers of freedom all over the world you are welcome to biafra unite channel slash television this very moment Today's date is 12th of April 2024, and I have a breaking information for every one of you listening to my voice right now from where you are all over the world. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news because this very news is very very important i can assure you my people every biafran has to give me his or her ears at this very point in time because what i'm about to do right now is very very critical and is going to go down the record lane i do not want to talk too much rather let me go straight and show you the news and read it in details and of course analyze it in full because listen Hmm. this is very very important and uh, once you come across it i want you to share it there is only one obligation you have to share it so that those behind this shenanigan will be able to come across this very news and pay attention to it because i have a message to send to them now before moving forward to read this very flyer that you are seeing on your screen i want to make an announcement whosoever that is involved in this criminality that i'm bringing to your notice i want you to know that what you are doing is a criminal offense and it is a treasonable felony both to biafra nation and the biafra republic government in exile it doesn't matter who runs the office it's not all about who is the prime minister as long as we have a government it is a treasonable felony against biafra nation and against the biafra government i want you to know that and i don't know who you are i should have called them faceless i don't care who you are even if you uh, you used to be a comrade i don't know because my mind is telling me that those who are you know behind this very criminality must be those that we are maybe in the struggle or planning to be in this struggle now let me read in details and as you can see on your screen this is their logo here this is their logo and something got me angry when i saw this flyer something got me angry they said here biafra people's army bpa biafra people's army those of you who have been following this platform must have heard me several times use that word people's army like even yesterday when i dropped the news about the gospel that was preached somewhere in Ab in ebony state i also use that word by the people's army even on my titles because sometimes i don't want to mention the name biafra liberation army because that very name is very 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 dear to us that name is very very holy very very holy that very name carries a lot of weight so you don't mention or use that name anyhow biafra liberation army biafra resistance fighters biafra navy in fact biafra defense force you don't mention it anyhow so sometimes i use that word people's army now when i saw this very flyer yesterday from the official twitter handle of the prime minister mazi simon but this is the first place my eyes went immediately i saw the logo and i saw what they wrote here biafra people's army i was very very mad i was very very angry why should you use what i do or what i brought to the public or the name that i brought to the public for wrong narratives why why should you use it for wrong reasons why now they said biafra military council attn hybrid power sa 4th april 2024 via barend boga nieman ceo pay attention my people there's a title proposal for the partnership slash funding of biafra freedom introduction 
the proud and industrious Biafra people recognize the importance of fostering strong relationship between BMC and hybrid power in the realm of funding and the supply of military hardware and economic ties. In pursuit of this goal, the Biafra Military Council under the Biafra Federation Government is seeking to establish a strategic partnership with the Hybrid Power, a company renowned for its expertise in fundings and strategic planning. Now, see their names. They say the Biafra Military Council under the Biafra Federation Government. So now their name officially is Biafra Federation Government. That is what they have called themselves. I have a statement, I have a message for them. Just pay attention. And they continued. There's a historical background. The relationship between the Biafran people and the hybrid power dates to the ancient times as the ancient people from. Now pay attention. Address 713 Blue Tail Place McKinney. TX. This TX is of course Texas. TX 750 USA. org. Email blah 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 including phone numbers. Now, let us go to the next page. They continued here, Biafra Military Council with their logo. Contact information for further inquiries or collaboration opportunities. Please contact us on the below contact details. Best regard. Now, listen. They said, Okobi, Okobi D. Kingsley, General Gaddafi, General Commander. <laughs> General Commander, General Gaddafi. I don't want to say anything, you know, so that tomorrow they will not say eh, Biafra Unite is the one that uh, alleged that it could be one Muhammadi. That it could be one Muhammadi. I am not saying what I saw here is Okobi D. Kingsley, General Gaddafi. They call him General Commander. General Gaddafi. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. No. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. <laughs> this name, General Gaddafi. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. No, because Ofuwa Madema in the olden days, Anapa Gaddafi. I didn't know if his name is Okobi D. Kingsley. I never knew. So let it just. Let me just leave it there because man cookie from Namaro. Now let me send a, a strong message to them because I don't want this very you know broadcast to be that long. Now, Mr. General Gaddafi, I don't know who you are. In every honesty, I don't know who you are. But I'm telling you today that you and your group, you and your group that have started this journey today or whenever you started this since on 4th, uh, 4th of April this month. This is something that you have been cooking behind the scene. And then on the 4th of this month, you decided to bring it to the public. I only have one message for you. If if you have been in the struggle, you and your group, I'm talking to the so-called General Gaddafi, the General Commander, this person here. I don't know who he is. Then, <laughs> now, whoever you are, this General Gaddafi, Okubi D. Kinsley, if you have been in this struggle, you will understand that Many have come and gone. Many have come and gone. And those who, who have come and gone never had good intention for the freedom of our people. And some of them had good intention from the beginning when they came. But when people like us that run the media made them famous, they become known to be Afrans. They began to give authority or orders. And Biafrans are listening to them because we gave them the platform and they thought they have arrived. 
including the the, the person I'm thinking, <laughs> including the person that I'm thinking that could be this one that I'm seeing general something here. After we have given them, you know, platform to speak, they become known. They thought they have arrived. They began to misbehave and do anyhow. They thought they can control the struggle, control our men on ground. But today, they are no longer in the struggle because when you bring pride and place pride at the front, the next thing that follows is your downfall. Now, listen. When the DOS, let me start from beginning there. When the DOS broke away from the struggle, they claim they have men on ground. Till today, they are still begging people, calling for fundraising. Is anybody listening to them? Nobody is listening to them. Do they still have men on ground? They don't have any men on ground. Because everybody have seen that they are no longer in the struggle. Now they have been left behind. Former group of Nelly, when they broke out, when they broke away from the struggle, they said they are going to continue to fund Eastern Security Network. Did they fund the Eastern Security Network? No, they didn't. Another group, another group that you know, the accountability group, when they broke away from the struggle, they claim they have their own men. They have men on ground. They are the one in control of men on ground. They called for fundraising. The same thing the, the group of Nelly then and Insima and Co. did. This accountability group called for fundraising. Did they succeed? They didn't succeed. Because once, in fact, you can never bite the hand that feed you. Once you try it, you are finished. You go hungry. The accountability group, led by one pastor that called himself Livingstone and Co. And one madam, they claim they have arrived. These are people that we gave platform to speak. Amalo Onyefabo. All of a sudden, boom, they are now in, in power and authority. Listen, they called for fundraising. Did anybody listen to them? Nobody paid attention to them. Today, they claim they have men on ground. Where are they? Are they still functioning? No, they are not functioning. So this group of uh, <laughs> Biafra, what? Biafra uh, Military Council and the Biafra uh, government or whatsoever led by one General Gaddafi. You can never be exception from others. Never. <laughs> never. So I just gave you instances with those that I have mentioned their names and their groups and how they failed. Now, there is an implication to this. In conclusion, there is an implication to this. What you people are doing could cause more harm to our land and more, more insecurity in our land. Because when you gather like three or four or five boys, manage to get double barrel and hand it over to them, what you are causing is insecurity and criminality in our land. When you call, as you have called for fundraising, of course, I am 100% sure that nobody is going to come for you. Nobody will answer you because Biafrans know who are in the struggle and who are fighting to restore Biafra. Any other person or group is counterfeit. Biafrans know they are not stupid. They are not stupid. They are very, very wise. Their eyes, everybody's eyes is open. Now, having said that, when you call for this fundraising and nobody comes and you want to sustain those boys you have given double barrel here in Biafra land, what else is going to happen? They will go into criminality, right? You better rethink and turn back from that your, your journey because that journey, that journey that you have taken will definitely lead you to destruction. I want you to be very, very mindful of what you are doing. We cannot condone any criminal activity in Biafra territory. Anywhere you are being caught, you know what will happen already. You already know. So uh, this uh, General Gaddafi or whatsoever they call you and the entire the so-called Biafra Military Council, Biafra People's Army and uh, whatever, there's another name they call themselves. They say they are uh, Biafra Federation government. 
whatever they call you, Biafra Federation government, today, take my advice that you may leave. Take my advice, whoever that is behind this, I'm not talking about the so-called name, Biafra Federation government or whatsoever, whoever that is behind it, take my advice that you may live long. Thank you, my people. To Salonumozia and make it go viral.